gonna try to do another short video on uh, milk allergies. My son's been dealing with this since birth. Um, didn't realize at first this is what he had, but I want to discuss that just a tiny bit because I didn't see, find out information about it a lot when I found out about this allergy. There's a lot about lactose intolerance, lactose intolerance, but not much about the allergies to the proteins in the milk, which is different from lactose intolerance. It's a completely different thing. Um, lactose intolerance is just the allergy to the lactose. So you can buy things like lactate and you'll be fine. You can still have the milk you, from it just as long as the lactose part is taken out. But people that have um, an allergy to the protein cannot do that. Um, the protein is just too hard on some people's gut. And without good the good bacteria that comes from like raw milk, for instance, um, it doesn't have what's necessary to coat your stomach enough to balance out, you know, the harshness of the proteins. So it's also called casein. So the milk protein is called casein. I noticed long before the allergy um, that I'd seen things on boxes talked about casein free. I had no idea what it meant though, um, really. Then I started studying about that. Casein was really the protein um, found in milk. So I was kind of surprised that that's what that was. Anyway, long story short, um, what happened with my son was um, I was I'm breastfeeding or was well still am um, I'm breastfeeding, and um, I noticed that he was about two or three months old. He um, started passing blood in his stool along with mucus and this happened every time he had a bowel movement and he had bowel movements very frequently and um, I had to you know slowly little by little eliminate different things from my diet to try to figure out what was going on and any time that I have milk yogurt or anything that has the, the cream from the milk in it like cream cheese sour cream anything with the word cream basically in it can't have. I can have hard cheese like cheddar cheese, um, but just not anything with that cream because it's higher in the protein than some of the others. Now, some people may not be able to even eat the cheese, but now I have found I can eat cheddar cheese, but just as long as it doesn't have cream. Um, I even tried to do, um, and that was, of course, drinking pasteurized milk. Now, I did try raw milk, but I noticed we also had problems with that, unfortunately. Because I thought maybe that the good bacteria in the milk would balance it out. But unfortunately it didn't. We just have a strong intolerance to that protein. But I want to put this out there for anyone else that may be struggling with that same allergy. And you can't find information on it. Uh, one book that had just a small amount of information. Um, it was helpful. It helped me understand a little about the allergy. It was called Nourishing Traditions by Sally Fallon. It's a pretty popular book. A lot of people read that. It's... Um, if you look up Weston A. Price, you'll find probably more information about that book as well. But there's a lot of things, um, there's not a lot of things out there about that particular allergy. So I did want to put this out there for you guys and uh, put it up for discussion. Um, you're welcome to leave comments below or send a message. Um, if you're struggling with the same allergy and you want to talk to someone else, I'll be glad to talk to you. And uh, hopefully we can help each other with this. Um, if anyone's found any remedies that's helped them, please pass that on to us. We would sure appreciate that. Um, and, of course, if you're a nursing mama, like myself, um, any kind of tips, you know, concerning that, you know, related to the milk allergy, you know, that might help, that would be, that would be wonderful. So, I just wanted to pass that along to you guys. Hope you all have a wonderful day. And remember to enjoy the little things in life, for someday you'll realize that those were the big things. God bless you.